Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Berger and the animal I chose to observe is Solenopsis xylani, or the southern fire ant. I noticed that these ants frequently ran into each other, and those collisions were the behavior that I chose to investigate. The behavior starts with two ants moving along the same path. They can be either going in the same direction or opposite directions. The ants then collide head first and move a bit off course before reorienting themselves back on the original path. The ants then continue to scurry along as if there was never a previous collision. This unique behavior that I noticed allowed me to generate four hypotheses about why this behavior occurs. Each hypothesis relates to one of Dr. Nicholas Tinbergen's four levels of animal behavior analysis. Tinbergen's first level of analysis is called causation or mechanism. This level is characterized as approximate cause. My hypothesis for the mechanism of ant collisions is that ants collide with one another due to the presence of chemicals and pheromones around them, which distracts them from watching where they're walking. Chemical signaling and vibrational signaling are the main forms of communication according to research done by Bert Holdobler in 1995. The ants clearly rely more on chemical signaling than sight for collision avoidance. Tinbergen's second level of analysis is called development. This level is also characterized as approximate cause. My hypothesis for ant collisions with respect to the developmental level of analysis is one that I have been thinking about for a while. The hypothesis is that ants bump into each other due to having learned how to communicate this way. These frequent bumps may allow for easy recognition. This hypothesis is backed up by research done in 1987 by J. L. Denenberg. In his paper, Denenberg explains how there is a clear learning process in ant foraging, and this higher level of understanding could be used to help back up my learning hypothesis. Tinbergen's third level of analysis is called evolution. Unlike the previous two levels of analysis, the evolutionary level is characterized as an ultimate cause. My hypothesis for ant collisions in regards to the evolutionary level of analysis is that ants bump into each other because that is how many insects communicate. The touching of antennae could be a homologous trait. Research done by Cesar Urbani in 1988 suggests that nestmate recruitment, food sharing, and nestmate recognition are all evolutionary traits passed on to ants from their insect ancestors. This would explain why antennae touching is so important in Solenopsis xylani. Tinbergen's last level analysis is called function. This level of analysis is also characterized as an ultimate cause. My hypothesis for the functional level of ant behavior is that ants collide with one another to be able to discriminate foreign ants from their nestmates. My hypothesis is supported by research done by Bert Holdobler in 1988 on the many ways ants signal each other. Dr. Holdobler learned that ants can instantaneously differentiate nestmates from outsiders by simply touching their antennae together. The behavior of ant collisions can be easily related to the lecture portion of this, and more specifically the communication lectures. Ants communicate by using both chemical and physical signaling. They rely on pheromones, odors, and touch to be able to find food and avoid predators. The behavioral context of ant communication are for territory defense, social integration, and resource acquisition. I relied on scanned sampling throughout my observations to obtain data because individual ant watching was extremely difficult. Thanks so much for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed it.